I was named second team all conference last week. Dom, what was, I guess, what was your reaction? I think you probably felt like you had a pretty good idea after you guys won that second game in Arlington that you'd be in this spot. But what did you feel? What was your reaction when you realized you guys definitely are going to an NCAA regional? Yeah, I think it was just a bundle of emotions. I think it was a sigh of relief for us to know that we're in the tournament and you know, we're all filled with excitement. What do you make of the bracket? Uh, obviously tough bracket. You know, every team's going to be good at this point of the year and everyone's trying to play for the same goal as Omaha. So I think it's a great bracket, tough games, but it's playoff baseball at the end of the day. You had the Stetson and Hatters in the bracket for the course your former team, but you also played them earlier this year in a, mid, in a midweek. When you see the Hatters on the bracket, what's the difference between the team during that midweek versus the team we're looking at right now? Mostly? Yeah, I think you learn some from each game. I think we went on the road and lost a tight ball game, but I think we're, where we were in Arlington, you know, we play playoff base when we played to win. So I think, I think each game teaching you a lesson. I think we had to learn something there. And, for some reason, we both ended up being in the same regionals for a reason. So, how much did the, the you mentioned that have playing in some of these games? How much did the Big 12 playing the Big 12 this year really kind of influence you guys, help you guys make a long stretch going into the tournament now, going into the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think that you know each game's gonna be tough. Every guy has you know good pitchers, good hitters. T competition's pretty high, but I think that you know it's the level of competition, level of winning. That's kind of it. What, what's the difference between the pitching staff that we saw last season versus the one that we saw this season? Yeah, I think Coach Thomas has done a great job of developing us and you know, keeping us ready to go for each game. And I think every guy knows the job at hand, and it's whose job, who's, whose turn is it to get it done. So. No, I know the goal every year for every team is to make the regionals. When did you really know or feel like that was a genuine possibility with this team? Um, I think once Coach Wallace got here, I think his message from day one was to win. and. No matter what the task was at hand, it was just get the win. And I think we've taken that day by day in practice, too. We've kind of leveled expectations of even practice and that each day we're, we have the one quest of making it to the tournament, making it to Omaha. How would you describe your confidence level right now going into this regional? I like to think it's pretty high. I think we've faced each team, you know, and I think we face teams that like them and we're just ready to go and play and win. You talked about that, that uh, Rich's willingness to win. Yeah. Is that the X factor for him, for a guy to come in his first year, to come back to where he played, to have success this season? Is that the thing that stood out to you about what he's been able to do to get this team where he is? hundred percent. I think everyone puts their egos aside and that says that we're just here to win. It doesn't matter who has to get the job done, whose role it is, who, who has to step up and get that big hit or make that big pitch. It says we're all one big team and we're trying to just win at the end of the day. You started that game against Cincinnati. If you look at that bubble, UCF ended up being one of the last four in. Cincinnati ended up being one of the last four out. When you look at that bubble and you think about the role that you had in during that game, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it's a pretty cool feeling at the end of the day, knowing that we got in over them because the head-to-head -head matchup. And But I think we treat every game as like the same. It, we don't put overemphasize each game, but it's just a pretty cool feeling that that's how it turned out. What's the biggest thing you learned about your team in Arlington? Um, I think one that we were able to go into extra innings as the away team and still find a way to win that as a pitching staff, it's tough that you know that you're pretty much at the game. If they score, you're losing. So it was good showing from the pitching staff that they were able to go out there and pitch when their backs were against the wall. I think as a team, you know, when they when the other teams are throwing their heaviest haymakers that we were able to bounce back and find a way to win at the end of the day. What is so special about this team? It has allowed you guys to come back on multiple occasions, make big run in the Big 12 tournament, and now make the region. Yeah, I think, Wallace, when you recruited guys out of the portal, it was guys who had regional experience, older guys, veteran guys, and obviously Wallace brings the experience too. That We have guys, I, I've never been to a regional, but people that have experienced it and are able to tell guys like myself how it's done and show it to What is it about Coach Wallace that makes you want to play for him? I mean, you saw himself, he has a black guy, and he's still willing to go out there and coach. So I think each day he attacks it the same and never too high, never too low. When you see, what was the emotions like in, in this room? I mean, we kind of saw it on the selection show, but take us like into that kind of crowd of people that were there watching the selection show, in the selection show. What did it mean to you to see your name pop up there? Yeah, it was a pretty cool feeling. I know as UCF, we haven't been to one since 2017, and that's something that, you know, each year we try to attack and try to make a regional, and this year it finally got done. And that we were just super happy, and you know, hearing our name get called out was a pretty cool feeling. When considering that final game, considering that final game against Oklahoma State and everything you guys did in the Big 12 tournament, what's the biggest thing that you think your team needs to work on as you go into Tallahassee, where now the stakes are a 
up even more? Um, I think we just got to keep doing what we've been doing. I think what we've done clearly has worked to get us to this point in the season, and I think that at the end of the day, we just got to keep playing Knights baseball. Is this is one of the toughest teams that you've played for? Um, like tough as far as like mental strength, everything like that? Yeah, 100%. I think we've shown it throughout the year that, you know, we've gotten swept in conference on the road and we've been able to bounce back and, you know, take two out of three from other teams who are pretty good. So I think toughness is definitely one of our strengths. So. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.